Okay, good morning all and welcome to my um, tutorial on Scratch. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a button that allows us to toggle the sound on and off. Uh, we're going to create a sprite, so I'm going to go into Paint and I am going to create a sprite. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. And I'm going to set the fill to, let me set that to white. Give it an outline of black. I think this is a good size for the button. Just going to make sure that it is centered. And now I'm going to add some text. And I'm going to type sound on. Control A to select all the text. And I'm going to set that color to probably a, a green, a rich green. Get my selection tool, increase the size of sound on, and center it. Okay, so this here is going to be sound on. Hit okay, enter. And now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call this one sound off, enter, and I'm going to change the text. And I'm also going to change the color, probably going to change the color to red. Okay, so we have sound off. And just one more thing, I just want to make sure that it is centered. So good, it's centered. And I'm going to name this sprite button. Hit enter. Okay, very good. So we have uh, one button. This is sound on and this is sound off. So let's go to, oh, before our code, we need to make sure that we have the sound that we want to play. So I'm going to add a loop and I'm going to go for the video game to loop. So that is going to be the sound that we're going to be using with the sprite. Next, we need to create a variable and I'm going to name this variable toggle sound and hit OK. And the reason why we um, are using variables is because variables are used to store values. So they can store um, numeric values and they can also store text. Okay, so once we have our variable set up, uh, we need to set up this button. So we need an event loop. So whenever the flag is clicked or whenever the game is start, uh, we can set the size. So we can set the size of this sprite here to 25%. So I'm going to set this here to 25 and hit enter. Then I'm going to switch the costume to sound off. And I'm going to move this around and place this in the position that I want it to be. So if I want it to be here, I'm going to go to motion and by default, it's going to grab the X and Y position, which is right here. I'm going to set the value of my variable to zero. So we need to change this here to toggle sound, which is the variable that we just created. Okay. So if I move this button around the place, or if the, chi the size happens to change and I click this green flag, you'll notice that it goes to the starting position. So whenever you are creating a game, um, it's always good to set up the initial conditions. So the next thing that we want to do, we want to go to, um, I think it's control. No, it's events. When the sprite is clicked, this is the block that we want. We want to 
change the value for toggle song by one. So we click on variables and we want to change our variable by one. Now I need to introduce you to this thing here called the modulus. And if I say, if I say toggle sound, mod two, this is going to collect the variable of the remainder when toggle, um, toggle sound, the value for toggle sound is divided by two. So that's what modulus means. So we need to go into operators and we need to set this here to zero. So if it's zero, if this value here evaluates to zero, that means that it is even. And if it's not zero, that means that it's going to be odd. So we can use a control loop with the if then else block, which is right here. And we can place this inside here. Okay, and then we can place this right here. Okay, so if the value is zero, or if the remainder is zero, um, we want to switch the costume to sound off. So switch costume to sound off. And then we want to stop all sounds, which is right here. Now, if it's an odd value, sorry, if the value is equal to odd, odd number, um, then we want to uh, switch the costume to sound on, which is right this one. And then we want to play our video game sound, which is this one. Okay. So let's run our code to see if it works. So I'm going to click the green flag. Sound is on. Sound is off. Now, usually during a game, you're not going to show this variable here. Um, you can leave it here so that you can see the value of toggle sound when you toggle the sound on and off. Okay, thank you for watching my tutorial and you do have a great day.